going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Residence Goal, episode two. Hello. Look who's here. <laughs> I made it. Yeah, she made it. What's going on here now? Hi, I'm good. How are you? You want, to tell our, you want to tell our audience why you weren't here the last time? I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, you were I was, sleeping. I was sleeping because I'm on the night shift. And uh, that was my end of like waking up time. I know. Listen, Alarms ringing, snoozing. I know. Listen, it's, it's it's tough already to be on night float and to 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 have to come back and do it all over again is a uh, is stress in itself. Yes. Again, that's that's residence for you. That's that's what you have to go through, right? Yes. But thankfully, it's our last day tonight. It's our last, last night tonight. Yeah, last actually. night tonight. It's it's yes. it's it's, it's, it's going to be amazing. Listen. Look at what that gentleman oh, is doing right there. Okay, anyways, um, <laughs> that's partly what we're going to talk about today, like yes. sleep or the fact that, you know, being a residency, you tend not to get enough sleep. And I think uh, that's just across the board anywhere, you know, in, in medical training generally, you don't, you typically don't get enough sleep. And, and what's, what's the average you, you, you'd normally I mean, get to be okay? enough sleep and being dynamic in your sleep schedule, you're switching your day and night, the oddball on on calls the nights and the days and then switching yeah. to night float so that definitely takes a toll so sometimes you're running like for that on two hours yeah, and yeah. on those lucky days you mm. are eight hours sleep and then you're so chirpy and so energetic and people wondering what is going <laughs> what's on the, what's the that's there? not the norm <laughs> what's, what's the difference today right What's the difference and people see the glow in the face no, and the brightness in your eyes the, the trick is to learn how to sleep standing up yes oh my god i still remember like in in medical school uh did you guys do dissections when you were yeah in school? yes anatomy yeah, right yeah anatomy so so you know we had around like eight guys arranged around the anatomy table dissections going on three hours in people start to get a little drowsy oh so <laughs> from all the formal there. aldehyde <laughs> yep oh, exactly maybe the fumes you never know right <laughs> So then they're just standing there, and then suddenly you notice this one tall dude in the back, not me. Oh, you <laughs> have someone taller no, than you? Someone taller dude. than me. Oh, wow. okay. right. Where did you go? <laughs> all, right. all right, there must have been a lot of tall people there. Yeah, eyes shut, standing up, mouth open. Sometimes dissections get a little aggressive, right? Yeah. And, you know, just a little, little globule of fat just flew Ooh. up, boop, Ooh. right on his lip. No we're way. all looking at it. Someone's about to reach. Some sh- take it off. Go in there. No. Pull it up. But before you know it, his mouth's shut. Fat's oh. in his mouth and it's done. Okay. No it's way. pure cannibalism. No that way. is cannibalism, right? He oh ate a guy. Oh my God. Yes. That's the consequence of not getting enough sleep. Yes, so, but at least he, you know. You got some food out I of it. I hope I'm, 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 I'm wondering. <laughs> you are I'm, definitely hungry in I'm, medicine. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what he's thinking about that today. But, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, 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 I think it's an important thing because you, you need to find a balance between, you know, your work and your health at the end of the day. Because yeah, lack yeah. of sleep, obviously, we, we know the many health consequences to mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, for example, I mm-hmm. probably would be able to go on three four hours of sleep and i'm wondering if a lot of people are able to do that consistently how long, how long i, I won't you, be able to do that consistently yeah right? like how long do you think you could sustain that though yeah that's 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 a very important question yeah work our limitations like you know thank god for them right imagine you had to work 36 hour calls and then sleep for right. a couple of hours go back into work it's it's rough out there it, it, it is rough and um I, I, was, I was wondering you know what, what would what would it take for you to be fresh and uh, how many hours of sleep i mean yes once or twice a week that definitely eight hours yeah but <clears throat> that at least sets you up that's what thank god we have the weekend. eight hours eight hours a night like yes. continuous eight hours of sleep continuous no disruptions Ooh. no alarms no snoozing Some. waking up but uh, in even i have sometimes i'll eight hours then the next time six hours and next week mm. maybe five hours mm. but if i do continuously five hours yeah. uh, or less yeah, than that six just hours and start you. taking a toll and it's not like you s- feel like all sleepy and yeah. drowsy you everything feel else. groggy you, you start else. having a lack of empathy you're having a lack of interest uh, uh, you just want whatever you're doing to be yeah. ending. In, and, in, in and Fatai's case, he starts hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, 
<laughs> the other day I walk into a room and he's just treating a stretcher. There's no one on it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But what I noticed, what I noticed though, is when I get very little hours of sleep, mm. like the, my my some of my four hour nights or three hour nights in some cases, I wake up and I feel like I can't even handle the barest you know the minimum Minimally stress insult, yeah i can't handle nothing it's like so as it's such a heavy low weight threshold of, my heart. of yeah, agitation yeah. yeah and that's what i've noticed over the night float um mm. including myself mm. where i felt like a little bit extra extra stress cranky. was was like i was cranky and yeah. i was just like um including the nurses the other staff everybody even though we had yes the patients were hopefully sleeping and yeah. uh, we didn't have as much work yeah. but everybody was just little edge and i felt it in myself yeah when i started it i was like okay and then at the end of the week i was mm. like well that's uh, becoming more toxic either was that you're lack becoming of, more toxic i'm becoming more toxic <laughs> either that was lack of sleep or uh, my change in my circadian rhythms yeah. or just me not getting the uh, the sunlight i don't know what was it but i haven't I seen the sun in a while i feel mm. i don't mind i, I I hate the sun. But I'm a night person through and through. But that's that's just you know you go through many days without even yeah. It's like yeah. living it's like living all the way the up in Norway. World. And then when you see the bright blue sky over the weekend, you kind of feel surreal. You feel yeah. like speak, in your magical world. Speak for, <laughs> speak for yourself though. I, I hate the sun. It's so different though. I remember when I when I lived on the island um, in the Caribbean, it was an amazing thing to just wake up and engage with nature. You know the mountains. Yes. Dude, the, you guys are such morning people. Well, I, I when I get to wake up early in the morning, I get the best day. Really? And honestly, I do because I feel like I get to do stuff. I get a chance the to like think. Like, I think about wow. ideas and oh, we're my, gonna my, my, have my, 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 my mind clears out a little bit. But for those mornings where I'm like rushing, wake up thirty minutes before I have to get to work. Oh man, it's like the Wait, that's, that's stressful. The thirty minutes before throughout. you have to get to work. That's like one of the normal days, or is that what's the norm for you? Listen, you wake up a couple of hours. Nah, 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 nah. Hit the gym. Nah. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest <laughs> with that. I, most of the night, mo- I mean, most of the mornings coming to work, I, I wake up, let's say, an hour before coming to work. Mm-hmm. But that hour is so rushed because I have to take a shower, yeah, blah, 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 do all the things. Okay, let's let's have a, a like a quick uh, question. How many alarms do you guys set for oh. the morning? Oh, my God. Are you like a one no, alarm no, person? You have to understand that one alarm has multiple snoozes yeah, as well. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. at the end, you have a snooze going every minute. Yeah. So you have a, at least three alarms and you make them every five minutes. That's a snooze. Three alarms? Oh. And then that's that's risky. I, I, nine is my... <laughs> and the last one is like five minutes before sign out. So yeah. like oh, I, 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 I typically do... I, I try to space them out. I try to yeah. space them out in like... Five minutes or ten minutes. Hmm. So oh. I do one. The first one goes so you can up. Snooze it. Yeah, I snooze <laughs> it. But the reason why I do that is sometimes when I don't get enough sleep, the uh-huh. first one goes up, uh-huh. and I snooze it or do whatever to it, and I fall back into <laughs> such deep, deep sleep. sleep. Deeper like than the initial hours. sleep, man. Like, <laughs> like how is that possible? You. And I'm two hours <laughs> into the exercise, uh-huh. I wake up like. No shit, I just, <laughs> just wrecked my day. <laughs> listen, you, you wake up at that time, you're like, five minutes, you have to get to work. And yeah, you're yeah. calling, listen, I'm looking, listen, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day where, you know, perfect scenario, you go to bed at 10, you get up at 4, you go to the gym for one hour, you feel fresh, Man. you get your coffee in the morning. Oh, that sounds so refreshing. <laughs> like, I feel good it. just listening to that. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to that day, man. But I maybe think after residency, you think maybe, it's possible? Maybe. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. I, be- I believe that once we set our ways of sleeping this way, we it's have hard the internal to, talk. Yeah. Like, I don't think so. I will be happy unless I have a very hectic week uh-huh. and yeah. I'm going to sleep at 8.30 uh-huh. and I'm uh-huh. okay. Yeah. But most of the days, I would want to push for that 10, There's 10.30. A, you know what the thing 11. is? Because free time is so valuable right yeah. now. For yes. me, mentally, whenever I have free time, I'm like, oh, i got to maximize this. Because the moment I fall asleep, Oh, Boop! I'm listen, up that, again that, and it's that's, work. That's, that's that's my that's my kryptonite, man. Yeah, free right? time. Free time. Free time is like, oh my, free time. You don't deserve it's it. A yeah. luxury. Free time. I'm it's gonna take a luxury. every every juice it every <laughs> inch of it. Milk and it and drink that's it. The main, that's, that's, honestly, that for me, that's the main reason why I can't I can't go to sleep at yeah, night because yeah. 
It's like, oh wow, all of this free time I don't have to that do That I this. can waste? Oh my god. <laughs> all like, mind can't of wait. waste. Let me enjoy, let me explore. And but, especially in medicine, the chore list is always there. Like, I know mm, it's Friday night yeah. and recording this. And I was like, I have 36 hours off tomorrow. Yeah. What mm-hmm. am I going to do? Gonna and, do and the list is like is exploding of all the stuff and, you have to do in that one day off right and uh, at the end of and then the sunday night anxiety comes in and you yeah, look at oh. it and it's like how much has been Listen, done I, we have just two minutes to wrap this up but yeah that, you just mentioned yes. something that's another challenge for me sunday yes. night anxiety sunday night anxiety the fact that real going thing back to some monday first of, first, monday first blues man new, they're coming up most of the times a new rotation uh-huh. It's you know new patients over uh-huh. the weekend. Uh-huh. So always you bring on the and you're ten new paranoid patients. Paranoid, looking at the charts oh, at home, and you're like, oh my god, uh, five bajillion problems, yeah, <laughs> new patients. Yeah, that's another that's another thing you should talk about. Sunday night, anxiety yes, to come work. But I, I got over it though. My idea now is again, it's, it's show up to work. Show up to work. <laughs> Just, Just show, show up. up and that is when when you're done, you're done. Yeah, go yeah, home. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna deal with that guilt all day yourself. Oh, people are gonna hate you. It's just a bad no, it, atmosphere. It started to, be to affect in. people around me. Yeah. Every yeah. once it's Sunday night, I get you know That's, grumpy, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, that is but like now, the now one try, thing. To get over the it. first step to like achieving anything: just show up and be yeah. on time. Yeah, Please be on time. Up. Just man. show up. <laughs> Again, get good, get good sleep. Yeah. Show up on time. Get ready for the day. Yeah. And hopefully, it's a good day. Yeah. Yes. Always. All right. Yeah, on that yeah. note, I guess we sign off for uh, a week. Yes, exactly. yes, we do. Yeah, thanks for coming today. Yeah, oh, thanks for showing up. Great. Hope, hope to see you again next week. <laughs> sure. No, right, I will then. be here. I will be here next week. For, for sure. For sure. No, no. <laughs> All right. That's it for Residence Cove episode. Two. See you guys next week. See you yeah. next week. Bye.